I have a Reality K1C printer that started to have some issues after I printed nylon filament at 270 degrees. This printer was only about three months old. It first started under extruding at around 20 minutes into every print. Then it also started making ticking noises, which I believe was coming from the extruder. And eventually I got a 2564 error message on the screen, which means the nozzle was not heating as expected, or in my case, it wasn't heating at all. And since my hot end would not heat, I tried removing the two mounting screws on the cold hot end. And that, of course, it was a mistake since I stripped out the Allen socket on one of the screws. But I was able to use a heat gun to uh, actually heat the hot end up. And then, fortunately, I was able to get the screw out. But that left me with needing some new screws. And I did find that I could order them on Amazon, but they were in quantities of 100. However, you know, it only cost six bucks, so it wasn't a big deal. A hot end has two electrical components it's got the heating coil and a thermistor. The rest of the parts are just there to hold those two parts in place. I suspect my problem was a bad thermistor, but figured there was really no point in replacing only one of the two items, so um, I decided to replace both. I did contact Creality, and they were agreed to send out a new hot end, but that can take a week or two to get that, and I wanted my printer back before then. I found that you can purchase just the coil and thermistor on Amazon, so I was able to get it in a couple days. And I found them on AliExpress, too, and they were so cheap, I ordered a set of three of them there from there. So now I'm covered for future hot-end failures. Once I got the screws out and unplugged the two wiring harnesses, then I had to figure out how to get the hot-end apart. There are two threaded parts to a hot-end. The top, where the black mount is, and a set screw that holds a thermistor in place. The mount piece would not move, and the set screw was full of melted filament. So I took a propane torch to the hot end for just a bit. Then I was able to unscrew the black mounting bracket using a pliers. I discovered that the thread pattern is backwards. It's not righty-tighty, lefty-loosey as most screws are. It's righty-loosey and lefty-tighty. Once the mount was removed, then the heating coil slides right off. Then I took a torch to the brass fitting and got it so hot that all the filament completely burned off. I used a wire brush to dust it off. And at that point, I could use the same Allen wrench I used to remove the hot end to loosen the set screw that is through, that is in the, holding the thermistor in place. I have a bench grinder with a wire brush, so I was able to use that to shine up the brass. However, I would imagine you could just use some steel wool too. Before you reassemble, you need to rub thermal grease on the brass shaft before you install the heating coil. And you also need to put some in the hole where the thermistor goes before you tighten the set screw. Once the hot end is back together, you just mount it back and plug in the two cables and you're good to go. When I eventually get the new hot end, I'll keep it as a backup for next time so I can do a quick swap. Then I can rebuild this unit again and always have a backup for a quick swap. The ultimate cost for next time is only about 3 bucks instead of the 20 to $30 a hot end normally costs. So it saves a significant amount of money. Plus, you can have your hot end up and running again within a, a short time instead of having to wait for parts to show up. Hopefully this video helped you out.